I'm alright. I'm going to go to the movies. It's going to be at the Ragtag Cinema. And the movie, it is called A Bottoms. And I've seen the trailer. It's like about some some girls in high school and they're going to start a fight club or something to get back at the boys or something. So, uh, yeah. But uh, when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Bottoms. This is the name of the movie. And, uh... <laughs> So, I, I enjoyed this. I did. <laughs> I thought it was really funny. I laughed a lot. I laughed a lot. Probably, probably laughed at things I wasn't supposed to laugh at. It was quite inappropriate. <laughs> and it was not uh, politically correct. <laughs> and, it, and it gave me the, the laughy laughs. So, since it's a comedy, I'm going to say they succeeded. <laughs> but, uh, so... This has, like, the, the the girls from, like, Shiva Baby. If you saw that, that movie was good. And, uh, yeah, it's, like, it's just these people that make these these movies. I, I remember liking Shiva Baby. That was good. And they they did some, you know, other movies I've seen them in sort of thing. But this movie, so it's kind of fun. I mean, I saw the trailer a couple times. I was like, okay raunchy comedy about high school lesbians these girls do not pass as being high school <laughs> these girls are gotta be near 30. <laughs> so but that's fine you know if they're not already past that but it's just it's just like okay this is one of those movies where you hire older people to be in high school and that's fine they used to do that a lot in the 80s. So, but I knew from the trailer this was going to be raunchy. It was, and, the, and, the, and uh, it, a lot of LGBTQ2I plus whatever, you know, all the different things, you know, because the, they make the joke in the trailer where they announce over the PA system all the, well, the ugly, ugly gays come to the office <laughs> and it's like whoa but that's kind of a joke within the movie it's like th these girls are like we're at the bottom of the heap that's what it is the bottoms you know so what it is is it's like being gay is actually kind of accepted as long as you're cute and talented <laughs> you know like high school musical <laughs> sort of thing or glee you know it's like if you're, if you're, you know, traditionally unattractive and untalented, people hate you. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. It's like they were less popular than the pretty, talented gay people. <laughs> so I thought, well, this is an interesting little angle. But So the thing is, is they're in love with these girls, but these girls, they got boyfriends. So through circumstances this is all in the trailer they decide to start a self-defense after school club so they can get close to these girls you know and maybe can uh you know recruit them to uh making sweet passionate lesbian love with them <laughs> so it's the whole thing is it's just awful you know relationships predicated on deception and all this but it's just <laughs> So, the movie is very violent. It has awful words. It was a little bit more cartoony than I was expecting. You know, it's like the principal is over the top hates the gays. He only cares about the football team. You know, it's like movies you've seen before, but it's almost, it's kind of like a parody. It's like all the, the football players, they're like a parody, you know, <laughs> of that sort of thing. And I don't know. So was, that stuff was a bit more cartoony than I, I was expecting. Because the guy who plays the lead football player, he almost, he 
almost ventures into Jim Carrey territory where he's just rubber faced and ridiculous. <laughs> but he, he doesn't quite go all the way there, but he's so close <laughs> to just being a cartoon character. And you know, there's the, there's a bunch of different things like that where it's just over the top and crazy. I didn't, I think this was just written by the people who made it. It wasn't uh, based on a comic book or YA novel or anything like that, that I noticed. But I thought they did a good job and it was funny. And this is probably the best comedy I've seen this year, especially. This is better than The Machine. It was better than that Sebastian movie. This is better than Stray's, that dog movie. This is a legitimate, good, old-fashioned, raunchy comedy. You know, I say raunchy, but it's basically just vulgar. Like, it's not like, it's kind of bloody. It's a little bit violent, you know, because it's predicated on the self-defense thing, which, you know, they keep joking as a fight club, that sort of thing. So there's lots of, you know, bloody noses and stuff like that. And then the, the big thing at the end, you know, it's over the top and crazy. <laughs> but I think they did a, they did a good job with what I, I believe they accomplished what they were going for, you know, and uh, kudos to them. So I thought the movie was hilarious. Yeah. Those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing a bottoms. Yeah. So, uh, I'm throwing them up on the Thoughts and Opinions pile. They'll soon be better by everybody else, as you know. But, uh, go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions. Put them in the comments section. What? That's where they belong. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. And, uh, don't forget to feed your cat. You know? And, uh, you know, don't do terrorism. <laughs>